Welcome to the What is Interferential Brief Training Module. Any and all information in this training tutorial is just to be taken as general information and not as medical advice in any way. And I just want to try to help you get a better understanding. So if you, co if you come over to the documentation page, We have some different documents. The Quad Star 2 is our interferential device, can be used in a two or four channel mode. So, we have some general information on electrotherapy document, TENS, muscle stem, galvanic interferential. So, I'm going to bring this over here. And if you go, you're probably familiar with this form if you've looked at this regarding general pain information, what TENS is muscle stim and interferential. So interferential stimulator minimizes impedance. Skin fat and bone are poor conductors of current flow. TENS devices kind of have to force the stimulation through the skin, through body fat to get deep. You have to turn the amplitude up a lot. The way it's been explained to me is that frequency of 0 to 150 is resisted at the skin level and body fat and bone resist that. As a matter of fact, your body really wants to keep everything out that it thinks shouldn't be going through the skin and penetrating into your person. Well, interferential works a little differently. For example, with a TENS device, you'd use certain electrode placements kind of along the nerve pass. But with interferential, you surround an area and you create a crisscross with the lead wires so that one lead wire splits into two pins and, the, and you might be top left, bottom right, like you're connecting the lines of one half of an X and the other wire is bottom left top right and the way that works and I'll go over this again in a little bit this and I have another document on the electrode placement for the quad star 2 one look at this the, the quad star 2 is it is a four channel now you can use it as a two channel or four channel so let's say channels 1 and 2 will, are going to work together for interferential. Channel 1 is the black. So the, the black wire, if you, if you had upper back pain, you would have one electrode here. And on the same black wire, the other electrode would be here, like a line of an X. Then you would take the white lead wire, and one electrode would be here, and another electrode would be here. So what would be happening is there would be a current flow of current, 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 current 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 like that and instead of being where it'd be like 0 to 150 this one will be going 4,000 4,000 4,000 4,000 4,000 4,000 and this one's gonna be going 4,001 4,002 4,003 so the way it's gonna work the way it's been explained to me and not an electrical engineer but this will go 4,000 then it'll go 4,001 4,000 4,002 4,000 4,003 4,000 4,004 and it's going very fast and then they're going to interfere here at the intersection. And at this intersection, a beat frequency is going to be created. Now, because one of these channels is going in at 4,000, and the other one is going in at 4,000 and above, the skin body, it gets, it gets deep penetration. Instead of going in at 0 to 150, it's going in at 4,000 to 4,150. It penetrates with minimal impedance. And most people that use interferential feel it's just more gentle. Now, the, the best way I've always explained it and had it explained to me is like a dog whistle. If, if you blew a normal whistle, you can hear the whistle. You're human. Your ears can pick it up. And a dog can hear it. But if you blow a dog whistle, there's still sound coming out of that whistle. You just can't hear it. But the dog can. So think of it as the... the 4,000 is like a carrier frequency that allows the, the, the frequency to go deep into the body without any impedance or resistance. However, once it gets down there, deep into the body, it doesn't really do anything unless it's converted back to a 0 to 150 range. So, if you have one wire connecting a top left, bottom right, crisscross, and the other wire, bottom left, top right, and they're alternating 4,000, 4,001, 4,000, 4,002, 4,000, 4,003. They're going to interfere with each other and create a beat 
frequency of the difference. So the difference between 4,000 and 4,001 is 1. 4,000 and 4,002 is 2. 4,000 and 4,003 is 3. So depending on the modulation sweep, if you, had, if you have the frequency between 0 and 80, or 80 and 150, or 1 to 150, it's going to go 4,000, 4,001, a beat of 1, all the way up to a 4,000, 4,150, a beat of 150, depending on the settings. But this 0 to 150 beat frequency is now created deep into the, t the body tissue where the pain is and the soft tissue injuries are after it's passed through the skin and body fat without resistance or impedance. So basically, it's like somebody picking you up and then like the Hulk picking you up and slamming through a wall and then you're th and passing through the wall. It wasn't you, it was the Hulk that smashed through the wall. But you went with the Hulk. It carried you. He carried you. So this is like non this is a non engineering, non medical explanation. But just think of it like that. Now one of the drawbacks of interferential is it requires a lot of battery life. So with a tens unit you can go days on a nine volt, but you might get two, three hours on four charged AA rechargeable batteries, which was, which is why we provide multiple sets of rechargeable batteries and a Energizer 15 minute charger with an automobile adapter so they can charge batteries in the car. And it also comes with a really long wall transformer so you can, a lot of these people with chronic back pain are laying around a lot or they're not, not quite as mobile. So they're just plugged into the wall. So this is a two channel crisscross interfering interferential and then this would be if, you, if they had upper back pain and lower back pain they wanted to do two areas at the same time. So that's how that kind of works. This is another way to show this is Biomedical Life System is the manufacturer of our Quad Star 2. So you can see cervical pain, one lead wire would be bottom left, top right, top left, bottom right for the lead wire, and current's going to crisscross. And this just shows you different pad placement. You don't want to put it right exactly on a bone. You want to try to give it some space to move in when you do the electrodes. And then when it interferes in here, like this is going this way, this is going this way, it kind of interferes right here and then it just kind of spectrums out. So depending on how, like if you're doing a, a you can pinpoint an area, or you could really do a large area like here and here and here and here and get this whole area, but you might have to turn the amplitude up. As you can see, hip pain, things like that. Now let's just go over a little bit of general, this is biomedical life systems. Current is the flow or moving stream of charged particles moving past a specific point in one direction. So go through, and frequency is the rate of alterations in cycles per second of an alternating current expressed in hertz. Just take a few minutes and look through some of these terminology. Pulse rate, pulse width. These are all in our documentation sections, our page. Now back here, so having explained that a little bit about the electrode placement, the crisscross, the carrier frequency of 4,000 to 4,150, they interfere with each other through the crisscross pattern of the, of the lead wires and electrodes, creating a beat frequency. The interferential stimulator minimizes impedance of the body. And it does, and, and even though it hasn't been FDA approved or, in a sense, scientifically pr proven, and as of now, the equipment billing code for an interferential is E1399, TENS is EL730, muscle stem is EL745, and galvanic is EL745. Any physician that's an orthopedic physician or pain management doctor or spinal surgeon or back pain physician or any therapist knows about interferential. And I've personally fit patients. I, I deal I deal with long-term chronic pain patients, and I've had I started my business in 1996. I mean, started selling electrotherapy and started my own parent, the parent company of StateCompensemics.com in 1998. And I've I took a lot of claims where these people's injuries were 1982, 85. I mean, long-term claims, and sometimes doctors, therapists, they just prescribe a device or something for a patient just to give the patient some hope, just give them something. They're not a surgical candidate for some reason or anymore. They can't take any more pain meds, and they've just got nothing else they can do, and they're just willing. When I started marketing interferential in 1997, nobody had really heard of it. They'd heard of TENS and muscle stem, and some had heard of galvanic, but they hadn't heard of interferential here in Arizona. 
and w they, but they would just give me orders and say, well, do your best. See if you can help them. I mean, the poor person's in agony. And I would fit a patient and teach them and train them on the equipment. And we always had high-quality interferential digital devices. And these pe some of these patients were so overwhelmed at the chronic pain relief that they cried. They had tears. And they were even angry. Angry that they didn't know about that device a long time before. So interferential can be accept really, really beneficial. And it also is, is considered to be, and it helps to reduce inflammation, um, move fluids, stimulate blood flow and circulation to the area, help promote soft tissue healing. The way I like to say electrotherapy works is that it facilitates and accelerates the body's own ability to recover faster, maybe heal faster. It's never a bad thing to have good healthy oxygenated nutrient filled blood going into an area pulling out cellul cellular waste products and the great thing about our quad star 2 is that it is a multifunction interferential muscle stimulation tens sequential device that can be used in a two or four channel mode for $585 with, a, with an entire year supplies extensive package that we include they're, they're just they're, we don't mess around anymore with the two channel devices there's no reason to have two and maybe need four when you can have four or and only need two but have four and an entire year supplies for less than another company's charges for electrodes so pause this read this two or three times get a good understanding of interferential it's different than tens tens you're you're blasting current downward and you have to force it with a high amplitude if, if you have to blast through skin, dry skin, a lot of body fat, which, which a lot of times dries the skin out. So let's say you, I fit a lot of patients and people with back pain gain a lot of weight. They're not as active, they get depressed, they're on medications that cause them to gain weight. They gain a lot of weight. So when you're using a TENS unit and it has to pass through skin and then a lot of body fat, they have to crank that TENS unit up to the highest amplitude or a very high amplitude to get the stimulation deep into the body. The problem with that economically is that when you're blasting high level amplitude current through electrodes, it dries the electrode out a lot faster. No different than if you're drying your hair on low with a hair dryer on low or a hair dryer on high. So you're going to dry your hair faster if it's on high. Second of all, it dries the skin out more. It dries the electrodes out. It dries the skin out more which impedes the current even more. So interferential can be the most effective chronic pain relief electrotherapy device. However, you still need the TENS modes burst for that endorphin release theory. So the great thing is our Quad Star 2 has all three capabilities, plus sequential, plus about everything else any therapist could want. So that's just in general what interferential is. Take your time to look to, to learn all the electrotherapy currents, galvanic, interferential, TENS, muscle stim, and a great way, even if you're a payer source, to learn about interferential is to take our Quadstar 2 interferential mode training tutorial. Thank you and have a great day.